Hey everyone, I wanted to talk today about queues. Now queuing is one of the most sophisticated features of Sociomonials, and it should be one of the primary uses uh, that your company or agency has because it saves so much time. Um, what you see in front of you is actually one of our agency white label accounts. So you'll notice it doesn't have the Sociomonials logo, um, but this is Sociomonials. You have to take my word for it. Um, what I want to do now is jump into the schedule because I want to show you one of the most po powerful features about our queuing system, which is it's kind of a set it and forget it schedule. So imagine waking up in the morning, going into your social media routine, and not having to research times to send, not having to develop a strategy every day about how you're going to be posting and you know when things should be going out and how you're going to track them. That's really what this offers. I want you to be able to go into your work day and just think about what great content can I pump into the system and then let it figure out when to post it, where to post it, and how to tag it and track it and everything else. So the way we've been able to accomplish this is by creating a category system. Every time you post something, you know that content gets tagged with a certain category. So it stands to mention that that is definitely going to be step one of setting up your new account. So this is how brand new accounts look within your schedule. And what you're looking at here is a default schedule that we pipe into every single new account that gets created. And what I want to show you today is how to optimize that schedule for your particular needs because this is one size fits all which generally doesn't work. Um, you'll need to make some tweaks in order for this to work for your particular agency or brand. So um, what the schedule is, think of this as a weekly schedule, Sunday through Saturday of every week of the year. Because what happens is, this is not a calendar, even though it looks a lot like a calendar. This is showing you, on a given day and a given time, anything that's in the queue or being requeued, this is what is going to go out, but only if all of the conditions match. And we'll go through those conditions shortly. Before we jump into that, I'm going to show you how the category feature works, because when you're setting up your account, the first thing you want to do is check out the default categories that we set. Your particular brand might not use all of these categories of posts and content, so if you're posting to promote your blog post, that's great. Leave that there. Um, but let's say you also have an e-commerce store. You're probably going to want to have more than just promotional. Like maybe you're going to have a seasonal. So I'm going to add a category here by checking the uh, plus sign. And what you see here is your category editor. And I'm going to call this seasonal. And this is something I'm probably only going to use during the holiday season. So it might be a little different than something I set up for year-round use. Um, because it's seasonal, let's go ahead and make it green. And what this color is, this indicates the color it's going to be on your schedule and on your calendar to set it apart from the other posts. Optimize send times. This is important because this is going to determine the default optimized time that our system recommends to you when you're using the optimal time feature. And I'll show you that in a little while as well. So take the, take a moment to just decide what are your goals. Sales are going to be my goals for this type of a post because it's an e-commerce store and I want to sell stuff this holiday season. Um, I can also create a campaign bar on the category or the calendar for this category, um, which kind of spans the entire holiday season. Um, that just helps keep track of all of the different campaigns I'm running during the holiday season. So since it's early November, I'm going to set this to go through January 4th. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm going to set the start date today, and let's have this end on January 4th. Now, associate with a campaign, I'm not going to do this because this is going to be for a number of posts versus being only to promote a single Sociomonials campaign. When you do this, it changes the color and the filtering all down to match whatever campaign you're running and promoting. 
So this looks good. I'm going to save it. Now we've got our seasonal category added here. And uh, let's see, we've got all of these existing ones as well. So let me reload the site. And now you can see the category seasonal has been added to the drop down list. So now I can start posting and tagging things as seasonal. So jumping back to the schedule, how would I use this seasonal category and how would I set up this system to match my brand's needs? Um, well, first of all, um, after you set up your category, what I would want you to do is decide how frequently you're going to be posting because the more schedule items you have, the more frequent your content is going to be posting. And that's on a per category basis. So you might have a seasonal category that you only want to post once a week, but you might have promotional posts that you want to run every single day of the week. And if, you, if that's the case with you, you're only going to want seasonal to appear one day a week on your calendar. So let me show you how to create a seasonal post. And you want these to go out first thing in the morning, let's say. Um, and before I do that, I'm going to show you a way. This is a fresh account, so it's not going to work because there's just no data in here. If you've been using your account for a little while, um, it's generating data in the background. So when you check tactical overlay, what you're going to be able to do is see the optimal publishing times appear as dark blue cells. And you'll know it's basically a guide to tell you when to drop your seasonal um, category because it's going to show you when people are buying. So I'm going to drop seasonal right here just because this is a test and I don't have any data. Um, all right, so all three of these conditions must be met in order for this post for a post to go out at this particular time. So when you're looking at this, keep reminding yourself this is a weekly post time. So our system is going to go out at 7 a.m. and it's going to check to see that the post, it's going to look for the very next post in the list, the queue, that matches these conditions. So if you post something that is tagged as a tip or an inspirational post, it's not going to go out at 7 because it's going to fail the test. But if you have a seasonal content post that's next on the list, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, it basically goes in order of the first thing that you add to your content, the first piece of content that you add to the queue is going to go out first. So it's going to take the first one in the list that is tagged as seasonal. Um, you can also have additional ones like let's say you know, you want, regardless of if it's promotional or seasonal, you want it to go out at 7 a.m., you would also check promotional. But for this particular example, I'm going to use seasonal. So that's the first check. Um, when 7 o'clock rolls around on that particular day, it's going to check to see that it's seasonal. When it finds something in the seasonal list, then it's going to go on to the next check. It has to match one of these social networks. So I don't care which social network it is. I want it to go out as long as it's the seasonal category. So I'm going to check every single box on here. Um, for example, you might not like promoting things on LinkedIn because that's more of a networking site. So you can turn LinkedIn off and make sure that it never posts to LinkedIn. Um, even if you include LinkedIn on that original post, it won't go out um, on that particular network. So I'm going to save this. So now we have a seasonal item added here, and every single week on Tuesday, it's going to post a seasonal post as long as there's content in the queue. That's the next really important part of all this. You need to um, add plenty of things to your queue. So when I start filling up my queue, it's going to go down the list, and it's going to let us know when it's going to publish based on that schedule. If you change the schedule, in any way, like let's say you drag this over here by 30 minutes, it's going to immediately recalculate your entire queue and it's going to have ripple effects on the entire queue. So just know that every time you move this, it's going to automatically recalculate. You don't need to republish your content. Um, so one thing I want to show you at this point is for your weekly schedule, 
Um, the way that you add content here is not through the schedule itself. This is only a framework for publishing your future posts. So once you get everything set up here, you're going to need to go and publish and decide whether it gets added to the queue and decide whether it gets requeued. And at that point, um, it's going to go out at these particular times. There are queues and requeues. And what the difference with those is every requeue starts as a social media post. And the first time it goes out um, on social media, it will not be a requeue. It's going to become a requeue after that first post goes out. So this is also a requeue schedule. So you might choose to send a post immediately and you can check the requeue box. So if I send a post and I switch on requeue, one of the unique things about Socialmonials is, you know, first of all, you can decide if you want it to be removed from the queue at a certain point. Um, you can make it go on forever until you manually remove it. You can make it go on for a certain number of requeues, and then you consider that content stale and you want it discarded. And at that point, it will automatically remove itself from the queue. And you can also have it automatically removed at a specific date. So this might be good for some, some kind of seasonal promotion that you're doing that expires at a certain point. So that is how the um, requeue works. But what's really unique about Socialmonials is you don't have to use the queue in order to use the requeue. I can actually publish immediately and have it the post go out now if it's really timely and also have it requeued. So if I want this content recycled every week, um, or not necessarily every week, if I have a whole number of posts on that category, it's going to rotate through them. So this particular post wouldn't necessarily go out every single week. And we're going to go over that next. And that is basically your frequency. But I want you to understand this concept first. You can also schedule a post for a specific time in the future and also have it requeue. But it won't start requeuing until that future date comes around. So if you have a big event scheduled in New York and it's two months away, you can schedule a post to start promoting that event three weeks before the event and also have it requeue. So what that means is for the next five weeks, nothing is going to happen. It will sit there and wait in the queue um, for this scheduled time to come around. And at that point, it's going to start requeuing based on the schedule. And you can also save it as a draft. So with those basic concepts in mind, let's go back to the schedule and I want to have a conversation about frequency. So this default is actually set up for a relatively frequent schedule. Um, and the frequency is pretty clear here. You're going to have a post. If, if you're posting exclusively using your queue, then this is exactly the frequency that your social media accounts are going to experience. Notice we have Facebook and Link and Twitter only on these particular posts because those are a little bit higher frequency of posts. I also want to point out at this point that Twitter will not repost. And the reason that requeues don't work on Twitter is they have a very strict policy against doing that. But it will work for the queue because you're allowed to post at least once in Twitter, obviously, just not on the requeue. So um, what you need to decide is based on each social network, how frequently do you want posts to go out? And you can change this very easily by clicking on it and just switching it off and then saving it. Now it's going to recalculate everything in the queue and make sure that no LinkedIn posts go out at 10 o'clock from the, the queue, even if it has the correct category. So the other thing that determines the frequency of any given post is the number of posts that you pump into that queue. If you are posting one post per day per category, this is going to be the wrong queue for you. Because <clears throat> what's going to happen is it's going to post that one post every time it matches. So you might have a single post going out twice a day each day. So what you want to do is if you're going to be using this particular schedule, you would want to add a lot more content than just one a day. If you are going to stick to one a day for a given category, my recommendation is to only have a couple of schedule items per week, depending on the social network. 
if you only want that to go out a couple times per week. The reason I'm asking you to pump in more content and load it up is because it's going to alternate. So if you have three different posts in the seasonal category, and they're all three set to requeue, what's going to happen with this particular schedule is the first post that you send out is going to go out that particular Tuesday. The next Tuesday, the second post will go out. And the, the following Tuesday, the third post will go out. That way, three weeks will transpire before the next post gets brought back. So at, on the fourth week, that um, Tuesday will send the very first post that you had sent. So it's just going to keep on going in order. The reason it's called a queue is it's just like a line at the Department of Motor Vehicles, for example, where you've got those five different windows, right? And you've got lines for each one of those windows. Well, each category is, is like its own line. So one of the nice things is you can change the frequency for the different types of category that you have. And it's going to go in order of appearance. So when you show up first to the DMV, the same rule applies. You're going to be in the front of the queue for that particular category. And it's going to go to the next person, the next, and the next, and the next. And the difference in this case is if you had not set it to requeue, you're going to go home. <laughs> If you did set it to requeue, it's like getting in the back of the line because we have a very strict rule with social monials um, schedules in that we don't send any requeue items for a given category until all of the queue posts have gone out because we consider requeue content to be recycled content and any fresh content that hasn't gone, on, gone out yet will always go out before any recycled content gets pushed out. So you still want to add those fresh pieces of content and don't worry if you have 20 items that are set to requeue and you've got 20 items that are being requeued, if you come up with something fresh and new and push it in and add it to the queue, even if you set it to requeue, that item will go out first. It will go in front of all the other recycled items and in the back of the list for all of the queue items. Because remember, once that item goes out, it gets removed from the queue and placed into the requeue schedule. So your content will always be fresh and you can always push new content out there. And the recycled content is just there waiting for those weeks or, you know, if you want to go on vacation for a couple weeks, you don't want to worry about the news feed being empty. You're still pushing out that recycled content. So I hope this um, gives you a little more insight into how this particular schedule works. And when you're publishing, just remember as you're posting these out, remember to set your category accurately because your schedule depends on it. Um, and requeue, always set it on requeue if you have something that isn't so timely that it can be recycled and used again. Always put it on requeue because the more posts you have in your queue, the less often people are going to see the same content that you've already posted. The more you push into the queue, the further out it's going to be before that same piece of content gets placed into your network again. You want that appearance of having fresh content, and the more you have in there, the further you're pushing out that um, item being seen again. Um, so hopefully by that time, um, they will forget that you ever posted it, and it will look fresh to them. So if you have any questions, you can always reach out to our chat. Just click this bottom right button, and you can ask any further questions you have. Thanks a lot.